Hey guys, it's Lydia. Happy Tuesday. I am out in the woods. This is where I do my daily hike. Um, and I've been contemplating a lot lately. Kids are back in school, have a little more freedom to be creative and get some work done, which is awesome. And I just posted something a minute ago. So if you're on my Facebook, you might have seen it. I was talking about weight loss. And I have a lot of thoughts that I want to share as a health coach, as a woman, as someone who's always trying to better and improve my life and my health and everything. Um, this is a big, deep rabbit hole we could go down together. And I want to just share some things around weight loss. Um, really what it is, what having weight loss does for you, just common perceptions and thoughts we have around this um, because really it's it's far more complex than we want it to be sometimes um, and unfortunately our society has deemed it to be as simple as calorie restriction and more movement which we all know is really not totally true right so <laughs> so a couple of thoughts I have around this really honestly are far more in-depth than just simple black and white rules of measure. Um, and so I just want to tell people that, you know, I, as a health coach, I don't do weight loss. Um, I know there are a million weight loss products out there with these promises. Um, and it's just so much more complex than that because as humans, we are far more than just, you know, this simplistic, what we put in our mouth. Um, we're far more deep than that. We are mind, we're our body, we're our soul, we're our spirit, we're our emotions. Um, and all of these things factor in when it comes to what we're carrying, okay? So that could be what we're carrying physically on our body. Um, so it's a lot more complicated. But it doesn't have to be. <laughs> so I want to take some of that away from the table here. So if you're watching and weight loss is something that is important to you, I want to ask you, what does having less weight on your body do for you? You know, what is important about that? Why do you need to reduce the amount of weight you have on your body right now? Is it, um, do you feel bad? Um, do you have health problems? Do you have self-image issues? Um, what is it about the actual number maybe that's on the scale that you see that's possibly bothering you? Um, ask yourself that question. You can comment if you want to, you don't have to. But ask yourself what's important about having that for you? Not what the rest of the world thinks, not what you know, these images we see in society deemed as beautiful and perfect and adequate and all these other things, right? But what is it that you feel is important about losing weight or gaining weight? We're mostly gonna talk about weight loss. Um, you know, cause I don't work with clients if their main goal is just to lose weight because they get obsessed about it and they miss a lot of really important stuff and they don't get to do the deeper work that's involved in the whole picture of really obtaining a more holistic health picture. So I just wanted to put this topic out there and if you guys have any comments, go ahead and pop them below because this is something I really want to dig into more publicly and talk about more and help kind of expose some of the societal limitations we've created around weight loss. Um, the beliefs that are out there um, you know so comment below if you if anything arises as I'm talking but recently I lost weight I wasn't trying to lose weight I didn't even technically quote-unquote need to lose weight based on my height and my body mass and all these measurements right that we see out there um, and what I what I really learned from this process um, is multifaceted. So <laughs> I wanted to talk about it because this is a conversation I have with clients, with women all the time. And um, I really want to make sure that people feel um, more equipped to really tackle this in their life. 
So when I lost this weight recently, I wasn't even thinking about it. I wasn't even trying. But uh, how it benefited me was that I had better energy, um, more stamina, um, and fit better in my clothes and feel cleaner and clearer. But one of the biggest things I think that contributed to this for me was not as simple as changing my diet and moving, although those were some things that I did do. Um, a lot of it had to do with you know, dealing with my emotional health, my mental health, clearing mindsets that felt really stuck for me, that, that things that were holding me back and affecting me emotionally speaking. Um, and they were really painful and really deep um, but I did some some of that kind of really di deeper digging to unload these things that were holding me down or weighing me down. And that's what I wanted to talk about today because that's a piece that's often missing when um, as women or, or even guys are really wanting to change this part of our life and we're, we're holding on to weight that we don't want. Um, and we think it's as simple as all right, I'm gonna go do a diet, I'm gonna eat really clean, and I'm gonna work out, and maybe we do that, um, but then we don't quite get the results we want, and then we wanna quit, and then, but here's the thing, if, if we find ourselves in a pattern like that, really we're not tap, tapping into the deeper work that needs to be done to really sustainably keep that weight off. Um, so that's, that's the thing that I really want to um, talk about and I really want to hear from people uh, on so that we can have a deeper conversation around this and really help people think about this more holistically. You know, I think weight is a very sensitive topic. Um, it's a very uncomfortable one. It can be very emotional. And so what is it about it? that's so emotional what why can it be so painful you know and what's going on more deeply that is affecting you as an individual when it comes to those thoughts and feelings maybe you're not directly connecting it maybe you would like to lose some weight but you're you feel fine in your body you you don't think it's a big deal but you know intellectually you know you know I really need to lose 20 pounds but I feel pretty good um, you know maybe there's something else there that isn't as obvious, you know? So for me, I've never been somebody who has been seriously overweight. And, you know, it's never been something that was a her heredity issue or a massive physiological problem for me. But there have been times in my life where I felt really stuck and really slowed down and I put on that extra 10 pounds and I felt slow and sluggish I felt uncomfortable I felt self-conscious and my body just didn't feel as good as it could and when I dealt with what was holding me back or where I was stuck or you know along with you know making the habits that are necessary you know drinking my water getting my movement in not overeating excessively um, you know partnering that those habits up with really um, journaling and gratitude and really even working with a, um, a mentor to dig deeper on my health um, through my mental state, my mindset, my emotional um, things that really, man, you guys, the emotional part, there's so much to that. So I love emotional freedom technique. Marie Holden's awesome. She is, does that work and energy work. And I also now have added this piece to my coaching practice because it's so crucial. You know, nutrition doesn't deeply heal as effectively if we're not tapping into our mindset um, and our emotions. And we all have obstacles and we have to be um, aware that we have these obstacles um, and just really recognize them and, and be okay that they're there and that we have them and recognize them so that we can work through them and so that we can say hey wait this is an obstacle for me whatever it may be um, and I want to make some actions towards overcoming this and if you can't do that on your own you know you certainly can get help to do it 
Um, there's so many great coaches out there in a multifaceted arenas. It doesn't have to be just nutrition. Um, you know, you could work with a life coach. You could work with a business coach. You could work with an energy worker. You could work with um, someone who is partnering that whole mindset aspect with whatever it is they do. And then you're going to get much more deep results and really get sustainable results. Um, so if you've ever been stuck in kind of like a pattern where you just can't keep the weight off that you want to keep off or you're kind of yo-yoing between up and down and you'd really like your body to just kind of hang out in this nice, healthy, stable place when it comes to the weight you're carrying, I just think that it's really going to be important for you to consider this. So. I just wanted to talk about this today, guys. I was in the mood, it was in my mind, it was on my heart, and so I thought I'd come share with you. So I hope you found it kind of insightful, helpful, maybe inspiring or encouraging. And leave a comment below, let me know if you have questions or thoughts, and I will get back to you. Thanks, I'm gonna go finish my hike now. Bye guys.